Hey guys, Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, coach and trailer sales, Paducah, Kentucky. We've got a combo deal here today. We've got a 2007 Warrior Motorhome, rear bedroom, sleeps, six people comfortable. A lot of recent updates. Uh, this is on a Kenworth T2000 chassis, all pre-emissions, uh, no depth fluid, no DPF filter, none of that on this truck. And to top it off, it's got an N14 Cummins Plus in it. Ask any old or even young, seasoned, whatever truck driver, they will tell you the N14 Cummins was one of the better engines that was ever made. So let's uh, go around it. We're gonna do a quick walk through the truck and the trailer. Again, it's not a lengthy video. Stay with me for a second. Just wanna show you a little bit about it. So we'll start out again. Uh, Kenworth T2000 chassis. You can see it's got one of the um, big aluminum hurt bumpers all polished up on the nose of it. Uh, the truck does have two slides. So it's got uh, one on the uh, opposing slides, that is, one on the front uh, passenger, one on the front driver. It's got a 10,000 watt Onan diesel generator in it. Uh, brand new batteries, brand new tires. Aluminum conversion. So uh, Warrior was um, a small outfit, not a big company. Uh, but they built some really nice stuff. So it's actually an aluminum frame box with aluminum skin on it. Again, brand new batteries, brand new tires, uh, both of which were put on by my shop. Uh, we put hand cooks on the drives and we put Goodyear's on the steers. 10,000 watt Onan generator with around 33 or 3,400 hours, I believe. Uh, you can see it's got the big hitch on the back. Uh, it's got the 50 amp power outlet so we can power our trailer from the coach. It's also got a little 110 volt 30 amp down below that one. So uh, with this hitch, you can run a two and five sixteenths ball, which is what it's got in it now. Um, they say if you put the pinnel hitch on it, it's rated for 40,000 pounds. I believe the two and five sixteenths ball is rated for 30. But very nice condition, all polished up nice. Um, then let's talk about the trailer. 2010 model CNS 36 foot lift gate. Uh, air conditioning, walk on roof. You can see the stainless ladder they've added. Tri axle suspension. So smooth ride. Uh, this trailer's got Michelin tires on it. And from what I could tell on the date code, they were probably replaced uh, in um, early to mid 2021. So the tires are about a year, year and a half old on the trailer. Great condition. Um, back of the trailer. We've got the sliding glass doors you can see. Also got the LED work lights that you can plug in when you unload your car or whatever you're hauling. You can uh, plug the door in and, and uh, get the work lights there. Some power outlets on the back. We've also got the step that slides in uh, up top. Got a banner to keep the dirt or just to keep you know privacy of what you've got in the top. Uh, 54 inch upper deck height, 92 inches wide. Um, also in the upper deck, you'll see in the photo album we put online, there's a spare tire and there's also an air compressor and then kind of some rack systems for storage of, um, of your race car body parts or, or whatever you want to haul. Uh, the trailer is a side entry, which goes real good with the uh, motor home in front of it. As you can see, it's a side entry as well. So 36 foot CNS trailer. Now, the trailer was completely refurbished in 2020. We're talking about new exterior um, aluminum, new stainless on the bottom, new trim, new rub rail. I even think they put a new roof on it. So this guy was completely gone through in 2020. Uh, it's also got new hydraulics. Uh, it's got the um, the s, s style wireless lift gate system and all that. So uh, as we enter, you can see rubber coin floor, again, also installed in 2020. Uh, it does have an onboard water tank with a little sink there. Uh, there's your one of your wireless liftgate remotes. It does have two of the remotes included. And I know you laugh, but that's a big deal. Those remotes are about 500 bucks a piece. So sink uh, just uh, drains out on the ground. Of course, all you're gonna be doing is washing your hands uh, or whatever little storage water or water storage tank underneath there. Lots of cabinet space, uh, toolbox drawers, 
You can see the uh, trailer is already plumbed with um, the air compressor with a few outlets throughout the trailer. There's your head on your air conditioning, big air conditioning system. I, what I thought was cool too, a mirrored ceiling. So we've done that in a few new builds, you, something you don't see super often. Uh, it's got a nice workbench uh, with a vise. You can see a little refrigerator in one of the cabinets there. It's got the roll-up door for your, um, you know, you can put your shock dyno spring smasher in there. It's already got the outlets all wired in. Uh, or you could, um, you know, if you're not carrying a dyno and a spring smasher, you could put just whatever in there for storage. So tire rack, again, that's all removable depending on the type of racing that you're doing. Uh, you could take the tire rack out. Um, more uh, cabinets that are like uh, the depth of the wheel, fender wheels. So super nice trailer. I love the two workbenches on the back too. Now, question I had last night when I posted the photos, someone could notice on the back of the doors that they're hinged and they will open. However, when they done the updates to this trailer in 2020, they put these two little workbenches here. And what the guy's question was, could I put a car in the bottom? Well, yes, you could. You would have to remove the cabinet section here and the cabinet section here. And then you would have, um, you know, pretty wide platform between the two fender wells to drive in because the doors, not only they slide, the whole door, the glass part and the white frame on each side will, will pivot in. And I'll show you here, there's a, a hinge, as you can see right there in the corner, see that hinge? So that will allow the, the trailer doors to open all the way up, which would give you, you know, whatever the clearance, it's probably 70 something inches between the fender wells. And then you would still have your cabinets above the fender wells, cabinets here and all your workbench in the front. So keep that in mind. The cabinets are easily removable and we could make it, you know, super clean, neat to where you wouldn't really never tell anything was undone. Um, I don't know how well you'll be able to see. I'm gonna pop one of these hatches down. Okay, got lights up there. So you see in the upper deck, uh, it's all diamond plate with the wall guards on it. Uh, spin around, you've got a spare tire, air compressor. Uh, it's got two winches. So if you're pulling two cars and you've actually got two separate winches to, uh, to get both of them in very easily. That's about it on the trailer. Again, it's got a full walk-on roof. Uh, someone made a very nice and neat stainless ladder for roof access on the front of it. Uh, that's gonna be where your uh, condenser is for the air conditioning system. Uh, it's got hydraulic landing gear, so that's what this little key's for. Turn that on, uh, and you do trailer up or down. You can easily unhook the trailer. Uh, it does have glad hand fittings on the back. Uh, this trailer is torsion ride, so you don't need air. It's got torsion ride suspension with electric brakes, but if you're ever pulling a trailer and you needed air, all that's already plumbed to the back of the motorhome. Uh, it's got a big awning, and uh, you'll see in the pictures that the uh, awning has a checkered flag design, so uh, quite a bit of storage. I think that one's storage and this one's storage, so quite a bit of storage space. We'll take a quick spin through the inside. So. Uh, the truck has padded like a leather finished wall through it. So, uh, tile floor. So when you enter here, uh, you can see you've got a sofa that, um, that turns into a bed on the passenger side. And you spin around here. You've got a uh, like little sofa love seat with uh, two reclining chairs. Again, if you'll look at our photo album on the website, there's some really good steel shots uh, showing you what's going on here. Um, up here, it's got a full height walkthrough cab. Um, I'm a little over six foot, about six three, and I can literally walk in and sit down in the uh, driver's seat without ducking, so that's awful nice. A uh, couple of cabinets in the cab for storage, as you can see. Uh, super comfortable seating. It's got the Warrior um, embroidered there in the headrest but very, very nice. 50, 52, 544 on the clock. Um, the truck came from out west, so, and again, it's aluminum frame, but it did come from out west. I think Arizona uh, is where it uh, was, was originally from. The dinette uh, does turn into a bed. Uh, the table leaf drops down, and then it makes a bed there. So you got a bed there, you know, a couple uh, children or um, or one adult could sleep there. This guy here turns into like a queen size air mattress and then 
You've got the master bedroom in the back. All new Sony uh, stereo system, uh, direct TV, Sony DVD. Over here, you've got a brand new fridge. Again, you'll see all that in the photos. It's never even been used. We just put it in. Uh, when we were going through the coach, the old fridge would work one minute and wouldn't the next, so we just pulled it out and put the whole thing in. Uh, it's got a uh, GE microwave, a uh, little convection oven up there, uh, sink, kitchen area, all the lighting's super nice. A lot of it's brand new. Um, 3388 on the generator hours, as you can see there. Two burner electric cooktop here, and um, the bathroom very spacious it's got a mid bath so you got your own privacy on door and everything there um you can see a little vanity i'll pop this door open and show you the shower nice size uh one piece fiberglass so uh it really helps with them leaking keeps it from leaking uh new toilet that's put in new again all tile floor day and night shades through the coach and then the uh master bedroom so um, as you can see there, all the bedding's brand new, lots of cabinets, nice lighting, new Samsung TV, um, nice cabinets around it. So a lot going on. Uh, we, uh, we just posted the combo for $299. Would really like to sell them together as a pair, but of course, you know, if the money was right, we would probably split them up. Um, something I didn't mention, one of the cooler parts, check this out. So the TV, you can see it's up there. Got some mirrored with some decorative lighting in the ceiling, but the TV. So, um, you know, some people don't use them while going down the road and they don't want it, you know, blocking the cab where they can still see out front. But if you want to use it going down the road, you can. There's just a little bracket. Um, one of our guys actually made the bracket in house. Um, so you move the little wood bracket out of the way and then you can fold him up out of the way and look at there. So you literally uh, have probably a 55 inch, that's a brand new Samsung, one of the smart TVs. And you can, you can let it down going down the road, it won't hurt. Uh, we also made some little safety deals here that latch onto it that holds it stationary. But um, you know, it, it is out of the way for you know, traveling if you want the extra view or whatever. Um, you literally just raise it up, put the little bracket around it and it holds it in place. So. Uh, again, it's a 2007 uh, Warrior Motorhome, uh, very, very well built uh, from the cabinetry to, you know, the tile floor. It's just, you can tell they, they really tried to go the extra mile on the construction. Uh, it's got the padded, kind of a distressed leather look on the vinyl walls. Um, N14 Cummins Plus in it with a 10-speed auto shift. Uh, Kenworth T2000 chassis. And then the trailer's a 2010 model CNS, 36 foot lift gate with the 54 inch upper deck. And uh, it's 92 inches wide on the opening hydraulic lift gate. And the trailer was gone through in 2020. So give me a shout with any questions. Uh, check our website out. There's a, a really good, um, I think 200 and something photos uh, that were just taken recently of it. So uh, we, uh, we buy, we sell, we trade. Uh, would love to earn your business. Please give me a call with any questions. 270-556-8461. Uh, check us out online at race-haulers.com. That's R-A-C-E-Haulers, H-A-U-L-E-R-S.com. Uh, we're also on all the social media, uh, YouTube. Give us a follow there. Uh, we're on Facebook, Instagram, and, and um, Racing Junk. We post on there as well. So, would love to earn your business. My name's Dylan Thompson, Paducah, Kentucky. I'm with Chase Motorsports Coach and Trailer Sales. I appreciate you watching. You guys have a great day.